voice and with us sing. Oh, praise Him. Alleluia. O burning sun with golden beam. O silver moon with softer gleam. Oh, praise Him. Oh, praise Him. Alleluia. so strong, ye clouds that sail in heaven along, oh, praise him, alleluia, the rising morn in praise rejoice, ye lights of evening find a voice, oh, praise him, oh, praise him. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, which will be offered for Louis Enns and for Rodney Cleveland. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Oh. 
glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they had heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> for the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. He revives my 
guides me along the right path for the sake of his name. Though I shall walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Your crook and your staff will give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days unending. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore your sins in his body upon the cross so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed for you had gone astray like sheep but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. sheep and mine know me. 
From the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever does not enter into the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all of his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you. I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I come so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. The women's club will be selling tickets outside the doors of our church. They have their banquet on Wednesday, May the 10th at the Greenwood uh, Country Club, so feel free to get your tickets for that. Also, the Knights of Columbus will be praying the rosary immediately after Mass, this Mass, and tomorrow, 930. So if you're, um, you're more than welcome to stay and pray and pray with them and uh, for them and for the various needs uh, of our parish and of our, of our world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Today we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday. And um, some people might think that this, is only, uh, this only applies to uh, priests, to bishops, and the Pope, and all those in, uh, ministering to the people, shepherding to the people. But not only the clergy, but all the baptized. That means all of you. Uh, you too, not just me, are called to shepherd the people. If you are a parent, that you may be shepherding your children. If you are teachers, that you may be shepherding those who, you're, who you are teaching, those that you have under your responsibility to bring them to Christ. So Good Shepherd Sunday, we know Christ is the Good Shepherd, the one, the only one. He is the Good Teacher. We need to have this encounter with Him in order to be pastors, in order to be uh, shepherds in order to bring and to lead people to Christ. In today's uh, first reading in the Acts of the Apostles, when Peter stood up with the eleven, he raised his voice and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ this Jesus whom you crucified. When they heard this, they were cut to the heart. Let us Think about this phrase. They were cut to the heart. What does that really mean? Let us ask ourselves individually, does this apply to me? Have I been cut to the heart? That means they were pierced. Their heart was pierced through. That means they were impacted. They were influenced by these words. What words? I just read it, and I will read it again. Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both 
Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Have you ever been cut to the heart? Is there anything from the Holy Scriptures that really influenced you, that really touched you, that really played, that really struck you? To cut to the heart means to hit home, something that just make you make the difference. That something that when you say, I got it now. Peter was telling the disciples and the people, this Jesus whom you crucified is Lord in Christ. And you crucified him. And then they got it. They were wounded. They, were, they felt sorry for that. It means that they had this conversion. And at this very Mass, as we continue to pray for all those uh, discerning to the, holy, the vocation to the holy priesthood and the consecrated life, but again for all of us, so that we may be shepherds, so that we may bring others to Christ. But before we do that, we need to be cut to the heart. We need to be, our heart needs to be pierced through that we may be able to recognize our Lord, our Christ, as the Savior, so that we can bring him to others. Therefore, my friends, Jesus today is inviting all of us to a mission of discipleship, to follow him, to be caught to the heart, to really get it, to allow him to bring us to himself, to teach us so that we may be able to shepherd other people, to bring him who is the good shepherd. And he's calling us all to repent and be baptized. Let us pray in a very special way today so that especially when we go to confession, that we may be caught to the heart, that we may be able to feel God's grace, what is happening there, confession, the forgiveness of our sins. It is really happening. And also, more than anything, that at this Mass, all of us may be caught to the heart, that we may get it. It is Jesus himself who dies for all of us, who is risen, and who is life, who gives life, and who will bring us to, to himself. May our Blessed Mother pray for all of us so that we may be caught to the heart, that we may not take it for granted, the Holy Eucharist. It is Christ himself who is calling us to be like him, good shepherds, so that we may continue to bring others to him, and in this way we may give him glory. And let us, again, as I mentioned, let us pray for all those who are discerning the vocation to the holy priesthood and the consecrated life. God, our Father, we thank you for calling men and women to serve in your son's kingdom as priests, deacons, and consecrated persons. Send your Holy Spirit to help others to respond generously and courageously to your call. May our community of faith support vocations of sacrificial love in your youth and young adults. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. <clears throat> Father and the Son is adored and glorified, spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. The life of the world to come. 
Amen. With confidence and trust, we now lift up our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the Holy Catholic Church may extend the victory of the risen Christ by serving those who walk in the valley of darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That men and women who struggle for human rights may never follow false leaders or ways of violence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord will raise up more priests to shepherd God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our young people may have life and have it to the full. Through fidelity to the Good Shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, bereaved, and special projects or events, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this nation and for all those who protect it, we pray to the Lord. For the sanctity of every human life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. And for all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, we ask you to hear and answer our prayers according to your will, for we ask them in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in this Paschal mystery so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleases our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. give you praise, Father, most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed men in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit, the Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify this offering, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We 
proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, the gather into one body by the Holy Spirit, that may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant, Francis, our Pope, Jack, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Dona nobis pacem, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. I thank all of you for being here. Hope all of you have a blessed evening. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Go forth, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. resounding in glorious light. Splendor the Lamb, heaven forever. Oh, what a miracle God has in sight. Jesus is risen and we shall arise. Give God the glory, hallelujah. Walking the way, Christ is the center, telling the story to open our eyes, breaking our bread, giving us glory, Jesus our blessing, our constant surprise. Jesus is risen and we shall arise. God give the glory. 